Kevin Hart went to um, Funny Marco's show. Hmm. And oh, really? Yeah. I and didn't I didn't. I saw it promoted. That's crazy. Maybe we could watch a little bit of it or yeah, just please. listen to the beginning of it at least. I got you. First minute or two. That's but, a big uh, look. And this is another one of his satirical, I'm yeah, being his, weird on purpose. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, his, uh, which I appreciate. So after I saw that, I, mind you, I saw it on my timeline. And the first thing that I thought when I saw it on my timeline, I was thinking, I wonder if Kevin Hart heard like people's complaints about black or AA list celebrities not bigging up or helping black so black media. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, this is a huge look. Because we are, you know, like for a moment there, it was like Bobby was washing out Marco. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Bobby popped up out of nowhere and had Mark Cuban and shit. And it was yeah. like. It's hard to compete with white Mark, Mark Cuban and yeah. fucking. Um, Drake and it was just crazy, like you know, in eleven episodes, and then she had connections that you know she did have connections, but have. it was like at that point, mind you, this is like in my in my like for black people brain, mm -hmm. I was like, I hope, I hope, yeah, I hope Kevin saw that and was like, oh nah, I gotta throw this nigga uh, funny Marco in the sis, right, uh, make sure, right. you know what I'm saying? Like he, he definitely got that email, like hey, come on, Bobby show, right? You, he sure. definitely got that email for, mm -hmm, sure. for sure, you know what I'm saying? But it's like. I'm not doing Bobby. I'm gonna do and like Shaq going over there. Shaq, why the fuck aren't you over with Marco? Marco you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. do both, but why aren't you giving them the looks as well? Too? Yeah. You know what but I mean? on on behalf of them though, like if you're a businessman, right? Yeah. You got to go with what is you know better What's for the hot? business. What yeah. would Jay Z do? But wasn't one of Bobby's best things doing do? the shit with Marco? Wasn't that, 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 that was wasn't the, one of her biggest interviews. Not one of her not best. Big, but that was like the, one of the first ones that like put her in the black space. Like Marco did kind of gave her. That's why. I, oh, oh, funny Marco. Yeah, my funny bad. Marco. I was thinking yeah. Mark Cuban. My no, 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 no. Uh, funny Marco. For, yes, yes. Yeah. So he funny, did her funny, inauguration. Funny Marco and uh, introduced her to the black community. Yeah. Drake introduced her to the entire world. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like, why wouldn't you kind of hop in on Marco's side? You know what I'm saying? Like he, he was the reason for her too. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? She went to the ultimate nigga, a black Jew. And Kevin so Hart is so tired looking in this clip. It looks like he's giving this interview to whoever was closest. <laughs> that nigga look, he looks so fatigued. Well, for, and he has a billion jobs. So the full interview's not out. You, He's about you can only 50. find this. Yeah, once I hit, I just put Kevin Hart and um, Funny, Funny Marco, Marco right in there. And yeah, that's the only thing that popped up. He's must, 50, so, but he has his own line of vitamins. No, I don't think it's out yet. Ain't so it must not what? be out yet. So we're doing a little promo for it, I guess. What is this clip right here, though? Uh, the only thing that's from available. The shit. All right, let's watch this shit. All right. What's your nickname? The Kid, Lil Hot Feet, Mr. Pay Per View. <laughs> Box office uh, killer. What about Bookie Bear? Where'd that come about? I've never been called Bookie Bear in my life. Uh, is that like, you know, the intro or is what? it? What? We already going. All right. When's a good time <laughs> to get an <laughs> A, when someone's hitting you, B, when somebody got you in the headlock, or C, just answer the question. Marco, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like, they can see this, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm saying this humbly. I'm a big guest. I, I thought that you would like have like some question. That's not a question. I want to see him talk to Bill Burr so bad. What's your nickname? <laughs> Like I want to, I want to see what him and Bill Burr together. Like what? Funny Marco. That shit, oh, yeah. that shit might blow a hole in the Earth atmosphere. I think Frank C. I think Patrick C. C. Just made a video. I think it was Patrick C. C. But I just saw a titled video on my homepage that said "Victims Why? of Bill Burr." <laughs> Victim, Victim, Victim it was Patrick C. C. It was Patrick C. C. Okay, yeah. yeah. I can't. I'm gonna watch that as well. I'm watching it. I'm gonna watch it later right now. I've already watched it. I've already watched, it. Watch later, later. I've already watched it. It was just talking about all the times he's just. Done Bill Burr things to yeah. people. Like, yeah. Yeah. The H3H3 H3 nigga, that soggy nigga, he yeah. was all Theo, like sad. Theo and was shit. in there. Yeah. Theo was in there. Um, a couple other people, I think a white bitch or something, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Yeah. You know, white bitch always crying. good for the ambiance. But, but I, I'm curious to see, like Bill Burr, Kevin Hart, I want to see this in full because how does actual license funny? Hold up against like I'm funny because I'm trying not to be for real, or the awkward funny that he's right. and just even like I'm funny because of editing. Yeah, well, no, yeah. that's not true. 
he's editing helps. The editing emphasizes yeah. shit to a completely different does, degree. Yeah, the punch yeah. ins, the certain moment, yeah, it helps. It makes what's not there become something. Yeah, there. yeah. But I think being there, like, it's still funny though. It helps. I think it helps. I think it enhances. This is a rare. This is a very niche style of comedy. Yeah, like, I think I think Marco's actually funny. Like, I think Bobby needs the editing yeah. more than Marco. Like. Because Marco, Marco's questions are really going to be crazy. Like and like the and, questions are funny. And it's like I don't know. I think if it was raw, that shit would be extra funny. Yeah, just straight through. Straight through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what I'm saying. Because even him saying that, like I'm a big, select, I'm yeah. a big guest. Like yeah. he, well, pro- he might have been thinking I'm uh, gonna help him out. Right. And this nigga is playing with me right now. You know what, <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. they don't know that coming in by now. It's still niggas pulling up this, to the set but, that's confused about what this content is. But we can't, we also, I just, I never can remember, or I never know how disconnected somebody might be. Either. True. You because know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne didn't even know what Black Lives Matter was. That's so what I'm saying. It's like, is yeah, it's, yeah. But it's, even a person like Kevin Hart, he's going to see something before he shows up. You know what I'm saying? He's going to look at something. He's he going to do his due diligence. He is at the same time, but we can't, we can't tell how disconnected somebody might be. Kevin, that's yeah. true. Kevin definitely knew what he was getting himself into. Yeah. Because he even said, like, nigga, Marco, I'm Kevin Hart. Yeah. Right. He yeah, asked yeah, me yeah, about, yeah, I, I, I forgot what he asked me, but it was yeah, some yeah. other shit. So, yeah, man. Shout out to Funny Marco for uh, securing say, yeah, that. Yeah. Funny Marco, he's been, like, posting his DMs of him, like, asking people to come on. Like, he DM like, Jada Pickett-Smith. This nigga cold uh, calling people. Yeah. He now, be- that would be hilarious. That would Jenny be hilarious Smith on it. because, like, his question was, "What did you do? The, what did you do with the money that? Um, what was that nigga's name in the the movie? Remember she? Uh, it set it off. It set it off. What was the dude's name that paid her for some for uh, some coochie? Yeah, I'm not gonna get but, that off the top of my but, head. But, but I know much, you're talking about remembering yeah, no trick, yeah, nigga. You, yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about. But pretty much, he was like, "So what'd you do with that money? Yeah. We need to sit down and do an interview." <laughs> and she was like, "Boy, like that was her response, like, but like." We can sit down, but we're not talking about no dumb shit. Something like that. But <laughs> So she's confused. But yeah, she's yeah. Uh, oh, we already know she's delusional. Yeah, that's true. Actually, Jada being there would be the best, actually, because he'd be able to like he'd really bust her down, like, with like those type of jokes, lead her down a path. She'll be trying to talk about healing. He'll mm-hmm. cut her off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or he'll just leave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the she won't way- get a chance to get it off. She's so into herself. Mm-hmm. And he would recognize that and set it up so like, crazy. So perfectly. How, how can yeah. you heal when you fucking a dude with lupus or whatever August yeah, had? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't August sick? That nigga had lupus yeah, and yeah, sickle yeah. cells. Nigga, that'd be a 13-minute video. She likes to say She would leave. And she would leave. Yeah. Out of there. She would leave. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be a long interview, but it would be a, it would be amazing though. That's fucked up. For sure. But uh yeah, yeah. I guess that's really it for that. Uh ask her who's a barber knowing she got alopecia. Yeah, that's really yeah, about yeah, it. Just... Um, let's see. 